Hello, Leo. This is your reading. I'm just going to clear the energy really quick. Ace of Swords. Wow. Balanced communication coming in. Um, feels like somebody wants to tell you something for sure. You have the Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. Could be somebody walked away from something here. Um, there's a change in direction that a person is taking. They have a lot of clarity at this time could be um an air sign libra gemini aquarius but it doesn't have to be i also feel like this is your energy at this time which of course you're going to be a vibrational match to whatever is coming into you anyways so you know <clears throat> if you are somewhere and you know someone is crazy rude to you well you manifested that <laughs> and we all do it right of course everyone has had someone be rude to them or you know we're all in control of what comes to us of our vibration and what frequency we are at and that determines what we are met with in this life how people treat us and all of that and that's not to feel guilty about you know if somebody treated you badly it for you to you know feel bad about that or you should take blame on that or anything like that no this is to say you know we're all here learning and growing but it is to say i'm taking ownership and i'm changing within myself because i know that i am worthy of everything and I know there's nothing I cannot be or do or have. And when you do that and you choose to focus on what it is that you are truly wanting in this life and you believe that you are worthy of it, if something else comes along and it's not a match to that, okay, whoops, I guess I manifested this by mistake. It happens. I'll get through it. I'll manifest better. Because you, you have. And that's what you're doing at this time. That's what you've done at this time. And there's some people that... You know, I'm not saying that you should go back to a person who treated you wrong because, oh, well, maybe if you changed your vibration, they would have been this or that. You know, no, it's like not getting into all of that. This is a, this is a point here that you've reached a new level of mastery, a new level of clarity. Something is happening within you. You may even feel very strong spiritual experiences. Get like getting the goosebumps or getting chills. Some of you may even have like a rash. But it's not, I don't have a rash. I don't know. I just feel like, or looking, your skin looking blotchy or something like that. There's something to that. Like, um, because it's like your, your vibration is changing and you're feeling it physically. And it's like, whoa. Because there's, there's something happening here that's a huge change in the way that you see things in your own emotions. And this is allowing everything to come in now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you have the three of swords and the four of swords and the um, five of cups. 
So when you go from the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords, that's progression, right? This is heartache. And this is, okay, this heartache, this situation that I did not want to happen, whatever it is that's causing me to feel this way, has now made me realize what I do want. And this is what I am going to pray for, to ask the universe for, to think about, to daydream about, to imagine about, to dream about, to choose to switch to believing in that better circumstance and trust and have faith that this universe will provide it for me. Which is literally looking down at these three cups and saying, nope. This is not what I want anymore, so I'm going to turn over here. It's taking some sort of a different action than what you have taken in the past, and that is creating a balancing effect here with your own emotions, becoming, uh, having more of this mastery, being able to look back and honestly see what role you played. And this is what is allowing things to come in for your time to be now. And that's why you have this justice card here. And it's justice um, from moving away from an earth sign could be, doesn't have to be a Libra or a Virgo, a Taurus Capricorn, sorry. See, moving forward, six of swords, you're moving away from that, yeah. Okay, and this is how now you have this pentacle, queen of swords, or queen of, um, pentacles here this is now how you're able to birth a new it's like you had to move on from something and you had to create a whole new community this is what i'm getting with this queen of of pentacles here you had to create you know you had to and i don't know how many times did you have to go and start completely over for some of you three times in your life it's like in childhood, I'm talking like you had to leave everything behind and go. And, you know, you had few things with you. But for whatever reason, you had to leave everything behind. So many times and so many people you had to completely lose from your life. Close friends. With no warning. So it's like a sudden loss. Like here one day, faucet off, gone, done. You know, so you had to build yourself back up. It's like one more time, you know, again and again and again. It feels like here. But what you're not seeing is each time it has been so much better than the time before. They're showing me cicadas. Cicada... To Native Americans and symbolically they represent, you know, they go underground for up to 17 years and they go in this hibernation and they come out and what it's like all of a sudden they're singing their song. They have something, You have something to say, you have something to share with the world to express in a different way. And it's not happening, it's not happening, it's not happening, it's not happening for a long, long time. And you just kept going, you just kept going and you follow these impulses from spirit. But you didn't know is it's not that you didn't do any something right for it not to have worked out all this time. It didn't work out all of this time, it wasn't supposed to. Because during all of that time, you were in a hibernation. You were in a seclusion. You were in a cocoon. You were being, you were forming, you were transforming. And for some of you, it is a huge chunk of time, years and years of your life. Could be 17, doesn't have to be. And also cicadas, it's like, depends on where you are in the world. Some of them for seven years, they do this. Some of them, you know, it's only for a year, but the longest is 17 years. Uh, yeah, so it's a huge, you know, and then they, they finally are ready to come out and they, they are so loud. So it's like, you have something to express, something to share, 
something to guide people in, something in that area. And it's different for different ones. And then they mate and they die. That's it. So it's like, and then, you know, uh, so I feel like a love is also coming here for you very, very quickly. So there's something to do with that. Uh, yeah. This feels like it's, this battle has been so long. I feel like mentally that's very, very draining for you. Uh, you have the high priestess in the black. Might be a Pisces that you stop talking to um, that might want to try to reach out again when they hear about this new opportunity that you have here. The lovers. You are in alignment. And when you are... There's something about you being in alignment and this person attempting to pull you out of alignment with this seven of cups here um but it's not working anymore you have the ten of cups so them pulling you out of alignment trying to pull you into like not that great of a situation but what they don't realize is about you is like you could be in a really horrible situation but to you like you'll find something great you know like there could be um You'll always find a better way. And you have the moon card here. So there's something that you're going to be revealing here to everybody, to the world, it feels like, in a great way. You have the magician here. I mean, come on, this is great. This is freaking beautiful. The magician, you know, this is your energy here. It's finally your time to come out. It's almost like you have been going through years and years of a moon period. And you're a Leo, you're the sun. So only showing the moon, only a portion of the sun's light can shine onto the moon, right? So it's like only a portion of yourself has been revealed. People have no idea what it is that you really have to offer. And that has made you feel very, very wounded because you have had to dim your light for so very, very long. And this is how you allowed people from your past who you know have this devil energy about them not the best intentions to surround you and that is how you have allowed this darkness to confuse you and to pull you in uh to you know be in your life but you know there is a change happening now you have the wheel of fortune the eight of wands and the three of cups so there is a reason to celebrate coming in for you here. A huge reason for you to celebrate here. If you feel like there's anyone that is taking you away from your focus, that, you know, is invasive in any way, there's something that you're moving away from big, 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 big time. And it's very, very important that you do with this temperance card here. Because, yeah, it's something that you do not see that someone has been um, spying on you in a way. This is the spy card. This could be this Pisces person. It could be a Capricorn person. Or a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Um, could also be a Virgo with this magician, but yeah, just as I say Virgo, you have the Hermit. Virgo. Somebody wants a reconciliation with you. But there's like you're shining so bright right now at this time that it's like there it's done. You have the world and you have the Queen of Wands. There's no way. I'm really getting here that um, you're going to get some clarity, especially if there's been something that you've been hoping to have clarity about that's coming in for you. And also, um, it might take some time for you to find yourself around like-minded people because at this time, let me see. 
face of wands. There's something that you need to finish that's not finished, that you need to spend more time doing. And it has to do with a passion. That's something that you really, really care about. And that is what is... Look at this Queen of Pentacles. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance for you. Excuse me. Temperance. There's people still waiting to come back in. They're kind of like, oh, okay, Leo is not wanting to deal with my energy at this time. So I'm backing away. But then I'm going to come back in again. And there will be so much time past that Leo will. It's like somebody feels like they're testing the waters to try to come back in again. Could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be. Could be a Cancer. Could be a uh, Sag. Could be a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Um, but it's like, could be a couple people as well. That it's like, oh, Leo is like a little bit worn out from giving to me. So I'm going to back off a little bit and then they'll be ready to give some more because I wasn't around for a while. It's like that kind of an energy. It feels like you didn't even, um, it's, you're not doing that anymore. You're focusing on your own happiness and something that you love and a new love coming in, a new opportunity for you coming in, uh, new offers coming in. It's like your energy is just somewhere else. And people don't really like that. Yeah, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Your energy is on you. Your energy is on you, is on building your empire, is on learning more about areas that interest you. And it's there's like something that you're going to apply to a passion that is distinctly you. You're changing the way that you're doing it. You're doing it in a different way than other people are doing it. And it's going to be great success here. So it's like, yeah, if you have an idea to do something in a slightly different way, it's kind of like follow that little trail that spirit is leading you on, you know, this chariot card here, because it's going to create a lot of movement forward and that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Uh, there's stuff that you're leaving behind here, whether you're even actually moving, having an offer come in where you're able to move. Something that is going to bring out a whole new set of mystery here. Because then it's going to be like, oh, so am I going to move now? Am I going to, you know, it's kind of like thinking uh, you're going to go in one particular direction, but then you're kind of focusing your energy and it leads you in a different, slightly different direction. And momentum builds in that direction and the offers keep coming in, multiple of them. And then kind of faced with do I leave this one thing behind and go towards this other way it's like your destiny might be something a little different than what you think but it's not um it's still something that you really want and it's something that is I feel like for a lot of you it's the main thing that you want but you're, you're like, oh, okay, this could probably never happen. So I'll settle for doing this instead, you know, and you're going to actually see that. No, it's, it's the thing that you really want. That's the thing that you can do. That's the new adventure that you're going on. But it's like, you don't see that at this time that what you're really hoping and praying for is what spirit is going to give to you and this is something that you have wanted for quite some time a long long time this could even be a lover coming back you have the seven of pentacles but then you have the three of wands they may not have been there we're not a lover page of wands it's like you could see yourself going on a journey with this person but at the same time you didn't really expect it yeah because you have the ten of swords the empress and the hierophant card here so this is taurus energy 
could be a Taurus, doesn't have to be, but it's like, you know, so beautiful that you have the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords and the Empress coming out together because, you know, this on this Ten of Swords card, the symbol that he is making here with his hand is the same symbol that the Hierophant is making. Yeah. They're going like, they're going like this. This symbol, both of them. So this is, you know, laying down with the Ten Swords in. So it's like, okay, I'm leaving this behind and I'm going to right to this, which is a level up, right? And that's what the Empress does. So that, that's what you're doing during this time. Like you're leveling up. So you have some kind of a dream that you have a limit on. And Spirit's like, yeah, you thought it was this. Well, actually, it's way more. It's the main one. It's the one that you really want. And it kind of looks like it's not coming in with this, you know, Eight of Swords with this. But, you know, Ace of Pentacles. This is something new and this is abundance coming in for you. And it's something that's also going to give you emotional fulfillment. I almost feel like you hear about this financial increase, this opportunity, something that you're passionate about that you've been that you've been hoping and praying for. Pursue it in a different angle and there's an increase that happens, okay? It doesn't, this can mean significant amount of money. It doesn't have to though. And even if it is a little bit more than what you have been receiving, you're, you turned in the direction of more. So when you appreciate and when you're so excited and so grateful and you feel yourself raised to this higher vibration, that is how it's going to keep going up, 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 up. And more and more and more and more of abundance is coming in. So um, no matter the amount of this financial gain here, feel the momentum of it. Feel the frequency of this added and more, you know. Feel this luxury because that's what that's like that's the energy of this is you're stepping into luxury here like you're going to be able to from this seed that's growing you're gonna this is gonna grow into you living a life of luxury and living a life of what you are really really wanting bigger than what you are thinking so know that know that and that's how you will manifest that right look at this king of cups so this is someone coming wanting to come in with some sort of a romantic offer and just i don't know build a future empire together with this ten of pentacles look at this knight of cups coming in someone wants to come in uh and offer love someone wants to come in and offer love and this ace of cups is sticking out over here it's like abundance and love abundance love <laughs> Abundance, love. <laughs> Abundance, love. Like, come on. All right. Who is this King of Cups? <sighs> Excuse me. Who is this King of Cups? Isolation. May not know this person at this time or... They're keeping to themselves at this time. There's been like a time apart between you and a person or you each are just separating yourself at this time or right around the time that you meet this person and you have harmony. So coming into balance within yourself, you are, they are as well. You have optimism. Look at this order down here. 
Harmony is a beautiful card. This is, you know, two people coming together. Independence. Two independent people coming together in isolation now. So it's kind of like, you know, you may go out, you may be around other people, but you're isolated. You're yourself. You're your own independent self. And you're not accepting less than offers. It feels like you have gotten offers that are less than, less than what you offer. And so you're not accepting it. You're independent on your own and you're ready for something, but you're not going to take it until it is actually in harmony with what your soul, you know, with, with you here. And that's that optimism card, believing that, you know, you can stand in your independence. You know, that is this energy. So this is two people coming together in balance here. Look at this. Yeah, this is discrimination card. This discrimination card, you know, she's out here enjoying this day. And so she's like out here choosing what she's being... Um, distinctive about what it is that she wants to focus on she's focusing on the beauty of the butterflies you know she is focusing on the beauty of nature and spending time in nature so it's like she is being picky about male or female so it's like you're you're not just taking any offers and this person is not taking any offers either you know what you want they know what they want and not settling for less. It's a really, this is actually, it's, a, I know, discrimination. A lot of the words on these cards, if you just read the word, you don't read the actual meaning on the card, but the pictures usually show you. I mean, she looks like she's having such a beautiful day, right? Um, so, yeah. Wow. Okay. You know, you keep getting these, this card of flattery. Which is a card of, you know, people that look at how here they're seeing eye to eye. And that is really the seed that births the tree for a future here. You have ostentation. Somebody wants to show off this connection when the two of you guys actually do connect. And it might be something that takes some time to grow into something. Um, but that doesn't mean that it, you know, is not... Uh, wonderful you have versatility here so I feel like this is something where this person is going to surprise you and you are going to surprise that person and it's the kind of love that is going to build and grow over time it's not something that is going to burn out really quickly you know there's always going to be more that you want to learn that's just the nature of who you are you always want to learn more you always want to be excited and to be like in love with life the way that this person is and a lot of people will do that when they first meet someone but after a while it fizzles out that it's like it feels like maybe you're worried that after a little bit of time this will fizzle out and it won't it won't there's versatility to this love you have acquisition acquisition it's definitely a card of two people courting one another and wanting to make this something more, showing that, showing that amongst the other people. So this is a beautiful energy. Let's see anything else about this person. Could be a new person this could be a person that you know you have authority here so maybe something is growing uh maybe this is a person that you know they have an uh, occup an occupation that uh they have a lot of authority in this could also just be something that you're making official in whatever way that you want to make it more official whatever way the next level would be up Oh, you have the bat. Wow. I love bats. 
that is spiritually advanced. Oh yeah. You know, they, um, and it's so interesting. You got the versatility card in the bat, you know, the bat, they fly in any direction they want. Like they can, you know, if you've ever seen a bat fly, they fly so erratically, you know, it's like, it's not like a swoop, you know, though they can change direction at any second and any time that they want. So I feel like this person has a really high excitement for life. And that is something that you're going to significantly appreciate. They may also see, you know, beauty in things that many other people do not. You know, the bat is definitely somebody who, you know, not everybody loves the bat, right? Not everybody sees the beauty and the wonder in the bat. Um, so I feel like this person sees, and bats can see so well, even in the dark. So I feel like this person, you know, they, they really, with this uh, optimism card here too, they're very optimistic and they look for the good in people and they see things that other people, you know, have difficulty seeing, uh, which is a really beautiful thing. Got the deer. Wow. Could be a uh, earth sign, doesn't have to be, but a deer is also, also very, very nurturing, very nurturing energy, whether they're male or female, very nurturing, um, definitely very family oriented and like to be around their family. They have an innocence about them, a childlike innocence about them that um, they also see that you have this as well. Cosmic Egg is, you know, one of the most magical cards in this deck. And it definitely talks about destiny. Something being destined. And it's like something finally being ready to be revealed with this card. Which is like this person's feelings are finally ready to be revealed. You're finally ready to reveal so much more that you have to yourself. And this person is as well. Um, and that's where this is coming in. You know, you have the turtle here at the bottom of the deck. And your last reading... Uh, the turtle spirit came up. The turtle, you know, goes through, the sea turtle goes through such an extreme journey, you know, to give birth, to climb all along the sand, to dig this huge hole, and to fight, lay their eggs, and to cover it, and to go, <laughs> so it's like, it has been a long, long journey, but Spirit wants you to keep going, keep going forward because you, you know, you're so close. This cosmic egg is here. It's finally here for you. You're finally ready to share, to shine that outer light that you have. So spirit is like, keep, keep going because you're embodying this empress energy at this time and blessings are coming to be yours and a beautiful love of somebody who, you know, has gone through a similar journey of struggles in their own way and is, is finally ready for the two of you to come together here in harmony. So, good for you, Leo. Okay, let's see. Whoa. You got the fox. You got the fox card, or card, charm. Could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be, but it's definitely, uh, you know, the fox tries to stay hidden. Is really, I know foxes, a lot of people, a fox is somebody that you cannot trust. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting that about this person at all. You may have untrustworthy people around you. They have untrustworthy people around you. There's people that you had to walk away from, that they had to walk away from, that you had to cut out. Um, there's even a fox on this discrimination card. If you look, that's a fox with a tail. So it's like, um, she's not focusing on the fox though, is she? She's focusing on the beautiful butterflies and what a great day this is. It's not even looking at it. It's not even there. So this is kind of like saying, you know, when this fox comes out, when these people come out, 
people come out and they're saying things and against your dreams and that they're not believing in you or believing in uh, the dream that you have for yourself. People, spirit does not want you to focus on that. Don't you know? There's certain people that you don't need to share what you're doing with and what you really think. You, you don't need to share it with them, and you don't have to share yourself with them. You spend your time with them or anything like that. There's just something about um, how are you going to choose to spend your energy, to spend your day on this earth, because every second is a gift that you deserve and you deserve to have your wildest dreams and the only reason that you do not have them is because you have been choosing to focus on the fox or things that you do not want right and it's something that you know everybody we're all here working on so it's not to judge anyone but it is to say that you've been hibernating for a long long time because big things are coming in for you here look at how this butterfly looks just out of this world beautiful right so you're, you're changing, you're manifesting big, big, huge things here. Huge things. Very powerful at this time. I'm also getting from this fox, you know, foxes are bright red and they hide and they hide and they hide, but eventually you're going to see them. You know, they stand out in whatever lands landscape you're in. So somebody has some feelings for you. I feel like somebody has something to be revealed that cannot be held back any longer. Uh, you also have this infinity symbol, if I can do it. Infinity symbol, which is over the um, her head on the strength card. So there's a, a major mastery, which is your card, obviously, the strength card. It's also over the magician. So you have everything that you need to manifest all that you want at this time. And that's exactly what you're doing. So these little foxes that are coming out, that's not a sign that bad things are coming. No, that is just one last little glimpse of your old life. And you're not even going to pay attention to it. And you're going to manifest things that, you know, are really, really in your hopes and dreams that you haven't before. There's something that you're going to help other people do as well, I feel like. You know, yeah, a time of peace is coming in. Moving forward in a time of peace. Okay. Thank you so much, and I hope I see you next time.